Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video this morning. I'm here with the latest in terms of what is going on across the North Atlantic with the disturbances out there as well as that tropical wave making its way across the Caribbean. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update. All right, so we're going to be starting out uh, taking a look at the Caribbean and surrounding areas. And so here we can see that going to some parts of Cuba, going into the Bahamas, and uh, we can see the southern part of Florida. There is a lot of activity. Now, that is in association with a trough in the area. So that is helping to induce lots of rainfall there. And uh, as we head further up north, here we have a better picture of it. And uh, this is actually... a a disturbance that is likely to be off the map as we're going to be heading into this morning and heading to that next update from the National Hurricane Center. So uh, it looks unlikely to develop now and the formation chance has been reduced to 0%. Nevertheless, it is producing a lot of heavy rainfall, uh, likely some gusty winds at times across parts of the Bahamas. And so uh, in the event of very heavy rainfall, guys, there can be flooding. So please do not take any unnecessary risks and take necessary precautions. Uh, when uh, when required to do so but going down uh returning into the area here we can see that there isn't much going on for some spots in especially eastern cuba and uh jamaica hispaniola puerto rico the turks and caicos islands and uh over in the eastern caribbean where there was a lot of activity we can see that things have cleared up this morning and uh, we're seeing those thunderstorms making their way further to the east in the caribbean and so uh this could induce some more rainfall across some areas though and so uh, for the ABC Islands, nothing much is happening right now. Maybe some cloud cover, but there is uh, that probability of some rainfall within the area as we're going to be heading through today. Going down to northern South America, here we can see that there is some thunderstorm activity across some spots in Colombia, going to Venezuela and Guyana as well. And now we're going on to the rainfall maps. And so uh, as the map becomes more colorful with those shades of oranges, reds, that is indicating a lot more rainfall activity. So there you can see lots of rainfall within the vicinity of the Northwest Bahamas, going to parts of Southern Florida, uh, Western Cuba. And then uh, some of those higher totals in association with that tropical wave, Hispaniola going to parts of Puerto Rico, the ABC Islands, even down into Trinidad could experience some substantial rainfall as we're going to be heading through today. And then of course, Northern South America and uh, going to to the Caribbean coast of Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama as well. Euro is in agreement with this uh, in terms of seeing that rainfall activity for Hispaniola, also for parts of Puerto Rico, maybe the Virgin Islands, the ABC Islands, and even as we're going to be heading into Grenada as well. So maybe Grenada will be experiencing some of that substantial rainfall activity as well. And then Northern South America expects it to receive quite a bit of rainfall, especially from that buildup of activity in the afternoon hours. And then as the tropical wave will continue westward, maybe heading into tomorrow uh, the rainfall chance will increase for areas such as jamaica so let's wait and see what's going to be happening guys but that is what is expected and so finally we're looking at this disturbance near the cabo verde islands and uh it is given a 30 percent chance of development so the chance slightly increased and we're seeing that there is a chance that it won't actually enter the caribbean and stay out but there is uncertainty with this we're bound to see this area shifting here uh as time goes by so only only time will tell, but development will all be dependent on how conducive conditions are. Sea surface temperatures are well on their way, but uh, we see that there's a lot of dry air out there, and those uh, more abundant areas of dry air are marked by those shades of oranges and reds. So it has a lot of dry air uh, to fight out there, and let's see if it is going to be uh, winning that battle and becoming something or an next tropical cyclone. Some uh, models are sniffing at that potentially happening. And the next name for this hurricane season is Emily. So let's go to be happening as we progress into the next couple of days and of course guys i will be keeping you posted uh, as time goes by and so that is pretty much it for this update and i hope you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments i will respond as best and as soon as i can and as always remember to be otherwise